Hi everybody, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Chad and I are celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary this year and I made him a video that I'm going to show to you. The first two minutes of the video is his reaction and then it will go on to play the rest of the video for you. Um, the It will be a little different format because I did it for Instagram but um, I used my phone to do it. it. I used an app. Well, it's not even an app. It's a, a program through Quilted where they send me prompts on my um, cell phone and then I video record my response back and then they put the video together for me. I will leave a link in the description below and a discount code for you to use if you want to try Quilted and make a video something like I've done or they have different packages to pick from, but this one I, I picked because I wanted to do it for Chad. I hope you guys enjoy the video and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead. What are you waiting for? Sub hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hi, Chad. Happy anniversary this year. 40 years strong. I can't believe it. I am going to make a video for you celebrating our 40 years together and it's going to be amazing and I can't wait till you see it but I am going to tell our story. I have something I want to give you. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a scary thing for me to hear because it's either really really good or no. it's really really bad. You can <laughs> So hard that <laughs> it was. I mean, I remember calling my sister Patsy and telling her about you, and I told her that you had canceled a date to go with me, and she was just like Jennifer. He must really <laughs> like you to do that. I did. I'm thinking, yeah, I think he kind of does. I remember you built us a nice little fire, but Chad, we didn't have anything to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what it takes to take care of us and to say that I appreciate you sounds so little but I do. I don't like it when you do this to me though. <laughs> <laughs> That's awfully sweet. Awfully sweet. Chad, I have liked you from the minute I first met you. I remember the first thing I said to you was, where are you from? I thought that was so important to know where you were from, and then you told me Utah, and I'm like, well. <laughs> anyway, I just, I just love the way you have been so easy to talk to right from the beginning, and I think that's why we hit it off so well, is because you were really easy to talk to, and you put me at ease, and you just made me laugh. I remember calling my sister Patsy and telling her about you and I told her that you had canceled a date to go with me and she was just like Jennifer he must really like you to do that and I'm thinking yeah I think he kind of does but I remember telling her all about you and how cute your curly hair was and how you just really liked me because I could tell you really liked me. Do you remember the first date we ever went on? I do, I do. You invited me to go to the sand dunes. And so I believe I suggested that we go to my grandma and grandpa's house and that I get some firewood so we could build a fire. And I got them, I woke them up and we got some firewood. And I remember you built us a nice little fire, but Chad, we didn't have anything to eat. How come you didn't, how come you didn't bring anything for us to eat that night? Uh, don't didn't you know back then all those years ago that I like to eat? <laughs> no, you didn't know that about me then, but I do everywhere we go. It's like, well, what are we gonna eat? Are we gonna get a treat? But um, I remember that really well and I remember 
that you wanted to kiss me and I think you kissed me a little bit but I didn't want to kiss you back because I, I don't know I'm just I was waiting since we're talking about dates I want to tell you about one of my favorite dates that I've ever been on with you and you're gonna be surprised that this is what I can tell you we had been married maybe 18 years something like that 17 years and um, we left the kids home. It was a Sunday night and we left the kids home by themselves and we got in the Suburban and we drove up to Island Park and we went to a Bill's Island where we had a little uh, piece of property. And we made a little campfire there on our property and we slept in the back of the Suburban. And I just loved that entire night. I just loved being able to open my eyes and look out the windows of the Suburban. And I remember we went for a walk and we walked over to the, to the lake and we sat on Hall's dock and just talked. And I just, I don't even remember very many details of that other than that it was just a feeling that I had. I just really, really enjoyed that time that you and I went together by ourselves didn't take a four-wheeler. I don't think we took anything. I think we just drove up there in our Suburban and spent the night. It was really a special night. Okay, Chad, there are a few things that you and I have definitely not agreed on in our marriage. And one of them is what to keep and what to discard. And the first fight we ever had was um, over a it's silly. You had a lot, a lot, a lot of pens that you had, I'm sure, taken every time you went to the bank or wherever. I mean, you had a lot of pens. And, and I got a little cup out, a little mug, and I thought, well, I'm just going to keep enough of these pens that fit in this mug, and the rest of them I'm going to get rid of. Well, I, I probably hindsight should have talked to you about which ones to keep but I proceeded to uh, fill this mug with the pens that I thought were keepable and I got rid of the rest and you were not happy about that were you? That was our first fight and I remember that I went for a walk and it was in the winter time and we hadn't been married very long and I walked all the way from campus up on top in Logan down to uh, the Bluebird in Logan on Main Street. And I went in there and I sat down and I thought, I don't have anywhere to go, I don't have anybody to call. And I got myself a chocolate and a milkshake and I sat there and ate it and then I turned around and I went back home and that was the end of it. But even to this day, we have to be really careful what we throw away or how I discard things. One of my all-time favorite memories over the year, it's been a reoccurring thing that we've done. Every year we've needed to take a load of limbs and debris to the dump. And every time we go in, we would, <laughs> we would I would be Emma and you would be Clark and we would go to the dump and we would talk like a couple of old people. I would be Emma and you would be Clark and um, I just I just think that was the funnest time and it was always fun because we would stop and get a big old coke and we would work hard. We, I mean we worked really hard together putting this yard in and keeping it up. And I just want you to know that that has been one of the funnest things in my life is being able to do that with you and work hard, really work hard, and then see the rewards of it. And it's just been fun, Chad. I want to tell you how much I enjoy our evenings together. I don't think that I would have appreciated the time that we have together in the evenings as much if we hadn't gone through what we did the first eight years that we were married when you were working at Shriver's and going to school and we never saw each other and I remember how excited we were when you got your first job out of college and we were able to have every evening together and <laughs> 
we celebrated that um, when we were going to school. Do you remember Saturday nights how we would have a bowl of ice cream or a, a glass of ice cream with milk in it? And so when when we moved into our first home, it's like every night was celebration. And do you remember every night for a long time we would have treats at night in our bed and the kids would wake up in the next morning and like what do you guys do every night <laughs> but we did we celebrated every night and then when we got into our 40s and realized that that was catching up with us we cut back on the milkshakes at night but i still love and appreciate being able to to close up the house with you and turn off the lights together and say our prayers and crawl into bed together and sometimes watch a little tv or sometimes we still have our little treats at night and that to me is the most wonderful thing about being married to you in the whole wide world and i love it hi chad i'm in our pickup and it's raining outside and it's just so cozy in here and i got in and i saw these gloves and i just want you to know that one of the things that i appreciate about you is how much you have taken how well you have taken care of our family and what a hard worker you are and it just seems like over the years it didn't matter how many hours you had to put in you did it and you weren't afraid of work. You never have been from the time you were a little boy, you have not been afraid to work and to do what it takes to take care of us. And to say that I appreciate you sounds so little, but I do, I appreciate our home and the nice life that we've built here and the cars that we drive and the clothes that we wear and all of it is because of you, Chad, because of your willingness to provide, to protect and to provide, and I love you for it. I have so many treasured memories of you, but I'm gonna go way, way back and remind you of one that when we were expecting Ruby, and we didn't know who, whether it was going to be a girl or a boy, but we were so excited, and I remember I was at work, I worked at Moto Day, and I don't think you had a job yet, or if you did, it was just a little one. Anyway, you um, you had some extra time on your hands, and you I don't know how you pulled this off without me knowing, but me I came home, and you had had that blue carpet laid in the bedroom, and you set up a fish tank with those little blue neon fish, and you even went and bought curtains for the window. Now the kids, the kids would just not believe it. They, we had two windows in that bedroom, and they would not believe it that you actually went and bought curtains, ironed them, and hung them before I got home. It was just a darling room, and I just will never forget how excited we were to have our children start coming into our family. Well, 40 years, 40 years we've been together and we have a lot more things we wanna do. And I really look forward to when you retire, getting a fifth will and taking off across the country and just spending some time alone with you. And I don't know, maybe we'll fight, who knows? Maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll pack up and come home and say, yeah, this isn't for us. But whatever we do, it's going to be an adventure and I really look forward to doing it with you. If I had to tell a stranger how to pick you out of a crowd, 40 years ago, I would have said, look for the tall guy with the curly dark hair. Today, I would say, look for the tall, handsome gentleman with the bald head. I know that it is our faith and our commitment to each other and to Heavenly Father that has built our marriage and kept it strong. And I am just very, very grateful that we've had a home that has been centered around the Savior. And I am so grateful for that you and I have been together in this and that we have felt the same way our entire marriage 
and it's made it's just made us have a good marriage I feel like just like the storms and the hail and the ice have made our trees stronger I feel like the storms in life have made you and I stronger as a couple and the way we have chose to deal and to face those obstacles in our life is what's made the difference. Um, we haven't let things get us down and stay down. We get blue over a thing or two that's happened to us, but we haven't stayed down. And I really appreciate going through the storms of life with you. I think one of the biggest obstacles or challenges that you and I have faced together in our marriage was probably when you were laid off from auto leave. And I know that that was a very difficult time for us and a lot of uncertainty, and I know that was really hard on you. But I look back on it now and I, I would not trade it for anything. I think that the, the growth that we got from that and is worth the the challenge that we went through. I think that we appreciate each other more and I think that um, we appreciate what we have more. And it's just one of those experiences that I'm, I'm glad that we had and that I wouldn't want to go through again. I wanna take just a minute and say a few things about the kids or really for the kids. Um, I know that they adore you, they love you to pieces, they love both of us, and I know that they think that we did the best that we knew how to do in raising them. And Chad, I know that you and I both sometimes beat ourselves up, but really look at how amazing our children are, and we couldn't have done too bad of a job because they are fantastic kids. And they just think the world of their dad and you are good to them. Oh, you've been so good to the children. So concerned about them and it shows. And I think one of the funnest things looking back was when they were getting married and sending them off to college and, and helping them get on their own. I think that was one of the fondest times of our lives. I have never doubted you, Chad. I've always known that you were going to take care of me. I've never worried about that. I've been so proud of you. I've been proud of you and your church callings and that you've just done those things that have been expected of you and you've fulfilled your callings so well. And I just love that about you. And so I just want you to know that I have never doubted you. Now there's little things that I've like, no, no, that's not right. <laughs> but all in all, honey, I've never doubted you. Do you remember that one time that you and I were with David and Merlene and we were up at Island Park together and you had to go to the bathroom so bad. We laughed so hard of, over that. And it was, I mean, that was really, really bad. And you haven't forgotten, I'm sure, and we will never forget. I am sure that our family and friends would describe us this way. Chad and Jennifer are a close couple. They love to be together. They hate to be apart. And I think that that is just a really nice compliment to us.